Hi guys, what's up? Um, hope you're fine. Also, today I, I wanted to show you something, something I'm pretty proud of. Um, it's uh, I, I built it, in fact. Um, the, these things, you might have uh, uh, understood of what I'm going to talk by just reading the title of the, the video. But this is about this case. Uh, I'm working on it since uh, some some month now, last September, uh, I think. Um, and now it's it's, pretty, it's kind of ready to be be presented or thing like that. It's kind of the, the last version that is working great. So, just to talk about it, the the case I've been using is a Pelican case. So it's the 1560 case here. You can see it. Um, this case from Pelican is completely waterproof, shockproof, dustproof, and is really resistant to to anything. Uh, most of all for plane traveling. So in checked luggage. I don't know if I'm telling telling this this right, the right way. Uh, you know when it goes into the plane. So uh, it's it's really easy to carry. There's some rolls here. It's not that heavy. It's about 15, 18 kilograms for the whole thing, and you don't have to take it by the end. You can make it rolls and easily carryable. And it's can be locked too, of course. Uh, completely sealed. And inside, I installed this. <laughs> so there's nothing. You will only see the, the foam for now. But there's a screen here, and if I remove the foam you will see this uh, so it's a computer I will just power it on for you there you go um, it's a desktop computer in fact anything here you, you have you have everything you have uh, graphics card CPU uh, all the thing of normal computer and the screen is is fitted inside the, the case uh, and you normally have only one cable that goes out from the case just like that so i did not uh screwed anything through the case in or outside the case because i wanted to keep the waterproof feature and pressure pressurized feature here because the outlet here i have to pressurize the, the case uh, to prevent any damage if you're going in a higher altitude or in plane you know uh, so I didn't screw anything. So just let me remove that dust filter and this plastic covering uh, piece. Uh, show you the inside. Uh, so there, there's nothing screwed. So for the, the most interesting thing is, is the screen. Uh, because the screen is fixed on the lid of the case by uh, something I, I call scratch. You know? You will recognize it by the, the sound. It, it's, li it's like that. So the, the thing I have in my hand is the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antenna. And the screen is fixed in the same way. So it means that if I'm pulling the screen to me, it's gonna, it gonna come out of the, of the case. Uh, but I have to do it really hard to make it come. Uh, otherwise you can just move it like that. You can you know, do whatever you want. It's not gonna fall, it's not gonna break, it's really, really strong. Uh, there is some foam behind it too, to protect it and the, on the edge too, anywhere. Uh, the, there is foam on the bottom of the case, all around it to pr prevent and to protect from shrinking. If it's gonna shrink a bit, you know, there is some heat that come uh, around the box. It's gonna protect it. Uh, so now what's about the, the motherboard, about the component. So I used a Bitfenix Phenom M case uh, to screw the graphics card to install the motherboard in it. And I put it just in the bottom of the, the Pelican case over the form, just like that. And, and it's working fine in fact. Uh, what to say? Uh, uh, well, let's speak about the component. Uh, I installed here a GTX 
1080 from MSI. It's the Seahawk version with the water cool system here. I guess it's the H55. Uh, I'm not sure. And uh, I use uh, another water cool uh, system, is the H75 for the CPU, and the CPU is a uh, high 76700K. So I don't know if I'm spelling it the, the right way, but you might understand what uh, what's the the CPU. Uh, the, um, so the memory is DDR4. It's the LED uh, from Corsair, and it's 3000 megahertz. Uh, what else? You have the power supply. Ah, power supply is a very interesting part. Uh, so the power supply is under this fan with the dust filter here. It's a Corsair RNX 750 watts. Um, it's completely overkill for this system because I'm using only for 500 watts, the maximum load of the, of the thing. But I wanted to have some secure power, more power, you know, in case if I'm changing something, if I'm upgrading the, the system. Um, because I forgot, I forgot to tell, everything here is easily upgradable. This is really, really important. Uh, you can remove the graphic, the world graphic systems in less than one minute. Same for the CPU, the memory, everything is easily removable and upgradable. Um, yeah, so the power supply power everything here. You only need one cable that goes outside from the box is the power supply cable. Um, so it powers the wall systems, it powers the LED here with the 12 volt Molex. Uh, it powers the screen here through this little device here. So this thing, this gray metal box is here is a 12 volt to 19 volt DC DC step up converter. It's a car of things. You know that is really really powerful in fact it can deliver up to 40 amps and uh, 35 volts i guess uh, so it's really powerful and i use this one in this case because it's really big and uh, i'm not using that much power for for the screen so it's gonna stay cool and it's not gonna overhead even after days of works so of using it's not gonna hit not a single one no it's not gonna hit so it's really cool for that uh, yeah, for the power supply, that's it. Uh, I use that fan on top of it because, uh, you know, the, the, the power is not, the, the, the wall system is not consuming enough power to make the power supply fan running. So I wanted to keep it cool and I use just that fan on top of it to throw some hair, fresh air through it. And it works, everything is cool, even when I'm playing. Uh, you have this little cable here, yeah, so. I I put some cable here because I have uh, this little. It's it's a bit hard to have access to the motherboard connection. This is the only thing that is hard to have access because I've just removed this fan to get access. So uh, uh, I put some cable here. So you have a uh, uh, USB C cable. You have a micro USB for your smartphone or whatever. You have a mini USB for the camera. Anything. And you have this one. I'm not using this one personally. It's the lightning cable, but uh, I had one that was some somewhere not used, and I decided to put it in here because you always have a friend that is asking you for a cable for his iPhone that is running out of battery or whatever. Uh, I don't know. It's like iPhones, Apple stuff doesn't have any battery, so they always need a cable around. Oh yeah. So I got one put it inside and maybe they can use it uh, that's it uh, the fans here are some uh, the red ones I mean is uh, well, it's Corsair ML 120 Pro they have a good airflow that's, that's what I, I use them um, to, to keep the world system cool while I'm playing, I ju just want to let you know when I play in 1080p, so this screen is 1080p 22 inches, it's a View Sonic SMHL 2263. Uh, while I'm playing in 1080p, maximum graphic, everything maxed out, so in 1080p, um, the temperature of the wall systems, CPU, GPU, motherboard, does not go above 45, 50 degrees. Um, so it's, it's really, 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 really nice. 
for a case like that where everything is really compacted um, it's nice but while I'm playing with uh, an external monitor a 4k monitor so I use that cable that's why there's some cable here it's a display port cable to to display the 4k resolution uh, while I'm playing at 4k everything maxed out same thing uh, the temperature goes a little bit higher uh, it's about 70 degrees maximum you know on hoverwatch for example it's about 65 degrees after some hours of gaming so it's it's, it's pretty nice it, it stays pretty nice uh, just a cable here is an internet cable internet just because I have the Wi-Fi here but the, the internet is faster and it's uh, much much uh, stable um, that's it I guess uh, so for the screen here uh, this one was really hard to, to find because it's the only screen that uh, fit inside the case with the maximum length and width, you know, of, of view. You, you cannot have better better one inside the, this case, this 1560 Pelican case. Um, and it's really, really thin. It's about 40 centimeters of, you know, of thick, thickness, I guess, and it fit really nice inside this uh, this case so uh, as you can see here you know you have some other place here you can add a keyboard you can put it here some little keyboard that can fit here so you can use it uh, even easy, easier and with a mice too there is place um, oh yeah I fit also uh, M.2 SSD at the back of the motherboard so sometimes it get a bit uh, a bit warm but not not dangerous and I fit also uh, another SSD it's a SanDisk 1 terabyte SSD that is uh, completely inside the phone so I use it as a storage uh, a storage drive but it's, it's not getting uh, it's not hot it's not overhead too so it's kind of it, it's nice really for the, the cooling part it's really it's really nice uh, some LEDs uh, here you can play with it make it bling bling or whatever that's great uh, also what I can say yeah um, the CPU here is overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz without any increasement of the temperature so it's it's pretty nice uh, same for the GPU I overclocked it to the maximum to the limit of the card so it's about 2.0 164 gigahertz I think it's the limit I, I've seen some people that goes to 2.1 and 52 uh, this one goes up to 64 uh, but it's really it's really rare, rare to see it um, goes until 200 and 164 but it works pretty well it worked pretty well and you have some uh, well, I would say 10% improvement with the default uh, the, the factory settings of MSI, it, it's pretty nice. It, it works well. Uh, this kind of case, could, this kind of case, could be really, really upgradable and through times uh, and easily carry, carry, carryable. You know that you can easily carry it. So that's it. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know. And bye.